And today I'm going to detail how the trace mineral selenium supports muscle function. Selenium is well known for its support of and association with the thyroid gland. And this thyroid association is also critical for understanding selenium's effect on muscle tissue. Because the thyroid regulates metabolism, which certainly includes muscle strength and growth. While the thyroid gland is the most selenium dense part of the body, skeletal muscle is a close second accounting for around 30 to 40 percent of total selenium storage. In the thyroid, selenium, as the amino acid bound selenocysteine, is a defining component of 25 metabolic enzymes known appropriately as selenoproteins, and these enzymes contribute to overall antioxidant support, cellular function, and the production of essential thyroid hormones. Selenium deficiency, then, obviously decreases the function of selenoproteins and the associated thyroid hormones. One critical selenoprotein, known as diiodinases, is the primary metabolic enzyme required to convert thyroxine, or T4, into the far more active and metabolism-boosting triiodothyronine, or T3. And in the muscles, any kind of development and or regeneration requires T3. T3 also positively influences PGC1-alpha, a master metabolic regulator that's induced in muscle during exercise and is itself responsible for stimulating critical processes behind muscle growth, like the creation of new mitochondria, what we specifically call mitochondrial biogenesis, and also optimal angiogenesis, which is the creation of new blood vessels. Diiodinases, which again are dependent on selenium, are essential for properly utilizing iodine and also thyroid hormone production. Iodine is very likely the mineral you think of first in relation to the thyroid, but without selenium, iodine would be excreted through the urine, thus reducing the synthesis of critical thyroid hormones. It is helpful to take your selenium with iodine because just as selenium is required for optimal iodine use, iodine also helps to offset the excess hydrogen peroxide production that can result from iodine deficient hypothyroidism, which can obviously strain and deplete another selenium dependent enzyme, glutathione peroxidase. And I'm telling you this now because many of you know that I've detailed for you before how low to moderate hydrogen peroxide actually facilitates muscle growth. What I've just explained to you now should show you the damaging effects of too much hydrogen peroxide and how easily regular ingestion of selenium can correct that. In addition to iodine, you should also be pairing your selenium with vitamin E because beyond vitamin E's well-known support of muscle growth, both selenium and vitamin E share a synergistic interplay. Specifically, vitamin E enhances selenium's antioxidant effects and selenium regenerates vitamin E. A common daily dose of selenium is 200 micrograms per day. And while you will find selenium in doses much higher than this, 200 micrograms per day is still a better dose if you happen to live in an area with high amounts of selenium in the soil and or consume meat and fish every day like I do. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzymental. Stay healthy.